Hello everyone, this is my third Blender video tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to generate a water surface using the Ocean Modifier. So let's get started. First, you want to go to the Modifiers tab, Add an Ocean. As you can see, the cube's already been converted to water surface. So now I'll be showing you a few of the basic settings to get you started. First, the resolution. Let's go ahead and increase it to get the minor detail you like. For this tutorial, I'll just be using 15. The second setting I want to show you is the scale. This controls the height of the waves. So you don't want to go too high or else this happens. The mesh intersects with itself. So to avoid having this happen, you might want to keep it down to fairly controlled value. Now that this is looking better, let me show you how to animate it. To animate this, you want to be in the first frame of your animation, drag your mouse over the time setting, and press I. Then, go down to the last frame of your animation, and increase the value of the time. I find that 5 is a decent amount for this number of frames. So, press I again, and go down to the graph editor. Now, in the graph editor, we can see that our keyframes have been set to curve. What this means is that the simulation is going to start out slowly, then begin to increase speed over time. Now to fix this, you want to press T and select Linear. As you can see, it's a nice straight line. Now we can go back to the 3D view, hit Bake Ocean, and once this is done, you can play around with your material properties and render your final animation. So this concludes this video tutorial. I'll be taking any requests that you might have, and as always, feel free to rate, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.